the number one secret to overcoming your flaws, your insecurities, things that you don't like about yourself that are causing you to be socially aware and uh, not very confident in yourself. So the thing about this is that you have to understand, first of all, is that everybody has flaws. Everybody, right? I don't care if you meet a dime piece out there, that chick has flaws. Okay, I will give you one quick example of a girl that I dated that was probably one of the best looking girls that I ever dated, you know, got physical with and uh, spent time with. And I remember seeing her, I actually saw her, this is a, this is a pretty cool story. I saw her on television. I saw her on the E! channel. She was auditioning for, uh, I don't even want to say, but she was auditioning for one of the host jobs. Okay. And I saw her on TV and, uh, for some reason they gave her full name on there. They don't do that anymore, but they, they put her full name across the screen. And this was at a time in the early 2000s where we did have search engines. So, uh, being the, uh, creeper that I am, <laughs> I took that name and I put it in the search engine and I found out, uh, which modeling agency she worked for. I found out, uh, found out a lot of information. So, I mean, she was just, you know, when I see someone I like, man, I go for it. I'm like Maverick, man. When I see something I want, I just go right for it. Don't even think twice. So, I felt like, you know, we had a connection, which we did. I was totally, I mean, even back then, I was pretty calibrated on the type of girls that I liked, type of girls that I wanted. So I remember just like going, hey, this girl's flawless. I would probably marry this girl. She's a, I mean, she is a dime piece and then some, right? Everything I was looking for, guys, like tall, blonde hair, blue eyes, friggin' perfect, perfect. Right. So make a long story short, because I don't want this to overtake the video because I want to give you I have a lot of uh, golden nuggets. I want to give you in this uh, coaching video tonight for overcoming your flaws. Uh, regardless is why this goes back to my point that everybody has flaws. So this chick who I thought was flawless, uh, I ended up meeting up with her. Um, <laughs> that's another story. I'm not even going to mention how I got her to, <laughs> to meet up with me, but uh but essentially, she was like a model, and uh, I had a friend of mine who was uh, filming a, uh, he was filming like a, an independent film at the time, right? And he was looking for an actress that uh, could play some part, and so I was like, hey, I, I know the perfect girl. <laughs> and so I reached out to her modeling agency. He's like, okay, if you can get her here, I'll, I'll talk to her. And I was like, okay. Reached out to her, mo her modeling agency and said, hey, you know. So I'm helping with casting, which I was. I was like, I'm helping with casting for an ind independent film, and it's going to be promoted to uh, Disney, who wasn't that woke at the time, and Paramount, and you know, we're going to try to sell this thing. So would love to see if she would like to audition for this part, blah, blah. So brought her all the way down to San Francisco. She auditioned for the part. And, of course, I made the moves, right? I told my friend all along. I'm like, dude, not to be unprofessional, but... Uh, I'm going to make the moves on this chick. And I remember she came down and I didn't notice anything. I was like, okay, she wore those like flawless. I mean, she was even better looking in person. So, I mean, I was like, okay, nothing wrong with this chick. I mean, she, I, even to this day, um, I have not really met anybody who was near as flawless as she was, as, at least for what I was looking for. Right. I tall five, nine thin, um, just, oh, yeah. So, uh, anyway, um, oh, also like she was wearing open toe shoes. I mean, she had like perfect feet, right? I, I don't have foot fetish or anything, but I mean, I used to sell women's shoes. Okay. I still sold women's shoes at Macy's union square. And I remember even women who came in there that were hot. I remember I'd like help them try on their shoes and stuff. And I was just like, so turned off. Like when some of these girls had like jacked up feet, but were hot. And I was like, <sighs> So that became a thing with me, right? I, I guess I kind of did develop like a little bit of foot fetish, but I, it wasn't really a fetish. It's just like, hey, I want the whole package, right? If I buy a Lambo, I, I don't want there to be a dent in the back. I want it to be perfect, right? So selling women's shoes at Macy's Union Square in college caused me to just notice things like that. So, um, so this chick showed up to her audition, just perfect all the way around, perfect feet. And I didn't notice in, anything there. Um, but she ended up getting casted in my buddy's film. So, uh, of course, I, at that time, I, like, we, like, started 
talking more and more, right? And it wasn't until I think we finally get like we're out together and we're just sitting together. And I think I was like ordering food. I mean, I was looking at the chick like she was flaws. I finally, I and I, I was trying to look for a flaw and I couldn't find one. And then finally, I don't know why this, I didn't, I didn't notice it. Like she like grabs her glass and then I noticed a flaw. And I was like, dude, this chick has like, has kind of, I don't want to say mask, like that's kind of a little overbearing, but she had kind of masculine hands. That really turned me off. <laughs> it didn't turn me off to, enough to stop dating her because she was flawless beyond that. But that was her flaw. And it always bothered me. Right? I'm sorry I'm really picky like that. Right? I'm not sorry, but that's just how I am. Um, so, I mean, I'm constantly looking for perfection. It's kind of like Eddie Murphy in uh, Boomerang. Right? It's like constantly looking for perfection. And that's probably why I stayed out there gaming as long as I did. Right? I just, I was kind of looking for the, uh, you know, the needle in a haystack. And uh, so that was the flaw I noticed about her. And every time I would see her and we'd hang out or like hold hands or anything like that, I was kind of like, yeah, she has pretty masculine hands. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, that, so that was the one flaw she had. Even though she had like perfect feet, they were like feminine and everything else about her was totally feminine. That was the one flaw because I couldn't find anything else. Right. But everybody has a flaw. That goes back to my point that everybody has a flaw that they're insecure about. And it turned out that she was insecure about that. She mentioned that she was uh, later on. She said that, yeah, she's insecure about it, right? So even the most drop-dead gorgeous women out there are going to have insecurities about them. And I've, I've dated more than my, my share after her, right, that all had like at least one, if not two, type of flaws. Okay, so, and they were all insecure about it. I haven't really met anybody who is not really insecure about their flaws unless they've done work on themselves, and this brings me to tonight's coaching video. This is why I want you to work on this stuff. Because when you are insecure about something, <clears throat> no matter what it is about you, uh, it's usually a physical trait, uh, you will tend to project that, right? You will tend to project that and other people will feel it. In pickup, we call this law of state transference. Okay, Law of state transference is basically what you feel, the girl feels. Or what you feel, the other person will feel. I mean, women are a lot more, especially hot women, are way more socially calibrated and can sense things better than most men can, right? So they can sense, like, if you're walking up to them and, you, you know, you're self-conscious about this pimple or you're self-conscious of the fact that, like, your hair, like, you're starting to bald a little bit, um, they'll sense that, right? They'll feel that kind of, like, emulating off of you that you're insecure about something because, you know, you'll, you'll give away like body language or you might look down, you might not keep eye contact. You'll feel a little more intimidated by her. Um, and that's a problem, right? And most people never fix it, but I'm going to tell you how to fix it right now, right? I'm going to give you some million dollar advice for how to fix these flaws. And we, again, we all had them. I remember, uh, when I was like in high school, there was a girl that I met that I really liked this Hispanic girl. And we we're set to go on a date and freaking a, I kid you not, like, because I couldn't really sleep that night because I was excited about the date with her. I didn't get much sleep. I woke up the next day, kind of tired, didn't get enough sleep. And because of that, I, I this giant freaking pimple formed on my face, right? I had this giant freaking pimple, like right here and, uh, or it might've been here. I can't remember, but it was big and it was like very pronounced and I had this date with her and I wanted to impress her, right? I mean, I don't really care these days. I'll show up with like 10 pimples. I don't get pimples anymore, but I'll try to show up with 10 of them. Look like pizza face if I had to and just own it, right? Um, however, back then I was very insecure about that and I wanted to cancel the date and I actually did try to. I did call her and I said, you know, can we reschedule? Can like, Can we go out like maybe in a few days instead of tonight. She's like, why? What happened? Right. She wanted to see me. So that was a positive there. She was like, no, I want to see you. And she was like, just come pick me up. She go, I go, well, okay. And I went to pick her up and she was like, what's wrong with you? Right. And she was like, is everything okay? And she was like, do you like me? And I was like, yeah, I was, she was like, why weren't you going to come tonight? And I was like, it's going to sound dumb to you, but it's because I got this zit today. <laughs> she was laughing her ass off. She was like, 
Are you serious? You were going to cancel the date because you got a zit? And I'm like, it's huge. It's not just a little one. It's huge. Right? And uh, so she was like, that is just so, no. She was like, don't do that. And she said, um, she goes, do you want me to cancel a date with you because I got a pimple? Should I cancel the next one if I get a zit somewhere? And I'm like, no, no, don't do that. I want to see you. You know, she goes, see how silly that sounds? And I was like, yeah, that does sound kind of sound silly, right? But the fact that I was self-conscious about it um, throughout our date that night, she just kept going, stop thinking about it, Matt. Stop. And I was like, okay. Yeah, but she could sense it. She goes, you're still thinking about it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not thinking about it, right? But I, it's because of that law of state transference, right? She could feel like, no, you're thinking about it. Oh my gosh, stop. Because we'd have conversations and I kind of just do this. Yeah, really? You know, and she's like, stop, take your hand off your face. Gosh, you know, she's like, you know, and it, I, I know it was turning her off to some degree because obviously I was like so self-conscious about it. Whereas these days I could care less, right? And I teach my students don't do that because... um you are going to transfer those insecurities onto her or the other person, whoever you're talking to. But like I said, women are a lot more uh, calibrated and are a lot more socially acute than men are. So when you have these things that you don't like about yourself, these flaws, really what it comes down to is no matter what you're insecure about is you have to own it. Okay, that's that's a big secret. You either you either own it or or you let it eat you alive because it will eat you alive. Just like that pimple ate me alive at uh, on my dinner date with her. What was her name? Her name was Isela. I still remember her name. She's a very Hispanic girl and very cute and everything. She wasn't really that tall. I like tall girls, but she was like five two, five three, super cute. And I couldn't believe she went out with me, but uh, I was so insecure about that, you know. And so. The only thing you can do in these situations is own it, right? If something, if you're having a bad hair day, if you, um, you know, if you didn't get enough sleep that night, you just got to own it, son, because it's more important, uh, the energy you project, the vibe you project than what's going on with your, your, your face physically or your height or, you know, the fact that you're balding or you're fat, whatever, which I will get it more into in future coaching videos. So I don't want to dive into those topics right now, but I'm just telling you point blank. If you have flaws that are, you are insecure about just number one, understand that everybody has them. Everybody out there is insecure. Everyone out there is insecure with them unless they've done work on themselves. Like I mentioned, you know, they've like gone through my programs. I teach you how to overcome them or they've seen this coaching video, right? But very few people out there, um, have done the work, right? Which I'm, helping you to do right now. So I'm trying to give you the work, what you want to do. You have to own it because if you don't, it will eat you alive. And through law of state transference, you will transfer that insecurity onto the other person, mostly female and mostly women you like, right? Cause you're not going to care if it's some dude, you, you know, you know, you're not attracted to him, but if it's a chick and it's a chick you're attracted to, you're going to be like, you know, trying to hide whatever deformity you have going on that week or whatever you were born with. Say you were born with a, uh, you know, your birthmark on your face. And I actually dated a girl who was also Hispanic, very cute girl, like really super cute that uh, had like a birthmark. I barely even noticed it, but she was constantly insecure about it. So I started to notice it. I was like, hmm, is there any way you could get that removed though? You know, I mean, I'm sorry, kind of like being a dick about it, but uh, she was insecure about it. And the more she got insecure, the more I noticed it. So that's what's going to happen to you. The more you're, you're aware of these flaws, the more you're going to project them, right? Whether it's your height, your, you know, or something else you can't control, right? Which I'll get into in future coaching videos. But for now, I want you to start owning it, okay? Don't fight it, okay? Don't resist it. As they say, what, resi what you resist persists. Just own it, okay? Be and think about the fact that not only law of state transference, what you feel, she feels, but... Um, but also it's more important, the energy and the vibe you put out because, you know, if you're, say you got, you know, like a big pimple, like I did on your face, say you got 10 of them on your face, right? You could either walk up to people and they'll probably notice that, right? If you have all that stuff in your face, they might notice it and be like, you know, or they won't, right? But in your head, you, it's more important you project the right vibe and the right energy, you know, just be gregarious. And that person, if you're, 
adding value to them. Whereas you're making them laugh, you're good company, you're asking them questions, they're feeling they can open up to you, stuff like that. Believe me, the last thing they're going to be thinking is, uh, you know, like focusing on is the zits in your face. They might notice it. I'm not going to lie to you. They may notice it like, oh, there's some zits on his face, right? But it's not going to be the primary, uh, you know, it's not going to be uh, the primary optics that they're, you know, that they're worried about. I mean, it's more, they'll be more like selfish, like, like, hey, this person's cool and they're providing value and they're asking me about me. They want to know about me. That will be their primary focus rather than like, uh, yeah, it's cool, but man, look at all those zits. Right? I'm just using zits as a as a as a light example because I went through that. But as always, drop your comments below, guys. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video. Anything you would like to add, anything you would like to share with the tribe, please drop them in the comments below. Always love to see you guys in my comments. Always love to read your comments. So please feel free to drop your comments below. I'll see you there. And until next time, this is Matt Cross from Alpha Male Secrets signing out here from my Range Rover, right? This is one of the last series of coaching videos I'm doing here, my Range Rover. It's still hard. It's really hard to let this car go, but this is the last series of coaching videos I'm doing in here. Um, so don't forget to smash the like button below smash that like button right now also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified whenever i release a brand new coaching video here on the youtube more importantly guys please make sure you subscribe to my channel helps me out a ton when you actually subscribe to my alpha male secrets channel i've been checking my analytics man and too many of you guys are still not yet subscribed to the alpha male secrets channel here on the youtube so please make sure you're subscribed as well helps me out with the youtube algorithm and, uh, you know, just, just help a brother out and subscribe. And for you guys who love my work and all of this amazing content I'm teaching you here on the Alpha Male Secrets, uh, the best way to support my work is becoming a premium member of my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel, which I am hosting on a private platform away from YouTube. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm protecting my content from YouTube in the event they try to shut me down one day. They won't be able to because all my content will be protected. It is being protected on my private platform. So this is the absolute best way to support my work is becoming a premium Alpha Male Secrets subscriber on my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel, which is being hosted on a private platform. Right now it's only a buck for the entire first month of premium Alpha Male Secrets content from me. So take advantage of it. Okay, all you need to do is click the link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video. I'm out.